Good morning, turtle nerds. Welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be going and planting those lotuses that I got, but I'm getting an extraordinarily late start to the day because, oh, I was freaking beat after yesterday, running around all day and driving and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, today's gonna be fun. We get to, I think I might have to go swimming in the pond in order to plant the lotuses like exactly where I want to. So yeah, but first I need a shirt. There we go, and I think this legally counts as a shirt. My bun is all kinds of messed up today and I do not care. Anyway, let's go to the orange hardware place. I'm not saying their name unless they sponsor me. I don't make the rules. Okay, but first really quickly, I just wanna look and see if we can find any of our two little baby spotted turtles in here after I set up their new enclosure. So in the future, what I need to do is I need to get a screen for this and I need to get a light over the top, a UVB light, I think. Oh, there's one of them. Hello, I think that's little baby butter. All right, I had to get a cough drop because I'm still not 100%. I just sneezed and I heard a very faint little bless you. And I'm like, oh, thank you. I'm home alone. Nope, nope, nope. I'm out of here, I'm out of here. Also, the reason that we're, I am white, I'm not that white. The reason we're going, don't look at my code. The reason that we're gonna go all the way to the orange hardware store is because um, they're the only ones with like the plant baskets like specifically made for ponds and I think that they're fairly cheap. So I should unlock it first. I'm like losing it today. Whatever, I'm excited, I'm ready to have some fun. Let's Head go. go. We didn't, we done did it, we done drove. Since when did plastic become extraordinarily expensive? It was like $24 for these planters and they had of course only one of like the pond planting baskets left, only one left, which is different from when I normally come here and they have zero of what I want. I guess that's a small win. So let's just get home and I don't know, get these, get the stuff planted. All right, let's try to figure out how I can maybe do this without having to get in, in the pond. I don't know. Odds are I'm gonna have to at least step in though. So let's go. Ooh. So we have our pebbles, we have our planters. So essentially the plan is to just take a plant. I'm probably gonna do the lily pads first, stick them in here, stick a bunch of gravel in here and fill it up a good amount and take the whole thing and then just drop it in somewhere in the front. That went surprisingly well. So as you guys probably see, I just went for a little bit of a swim. I am totally soaked now. I don't know, I, things should grow. Something should grow out of all that. The pond is of course extraordinarily murky because I just kicked up everything and added rocks and all this other garbage. But um, as you can see, uh, the, the, the plants are added. So what's likely gonna happen is most of these leaves are going to die. They're gonna die off and they're gonna wilt and I'm gonna have to fish them out of the pond. But the tubers, the roots, are what are really, really important and really special. Those roots and tubers are what should grow back. And if they're not growing, I have some fertilizer sticks that I will shove in and try to, you know, kickstart them and get them started. But I think that hopefully they should have enough muck to uh, get things rolling. You see the fish are really happy because there's all types of little snacks and microorganisms in here that they can munch on. The turtles are just having a frolicking about through the roots and whatnot. So we got lily pads there, lily pads and lotus mixed into this tub here that I'm really looking forward to seeing if it grows. We got the normal lily pads that I moved from in right in front of the waterfall to over here. We got those, well, I don't know where that's planted or why it's right in front of the waterfall. Oh, it's under that brick there. Just all kinds of plants everywhere. So hopefully, something grows. We also have plenty that's up in the mini pond as well. So yeah, that that's that. We are all set and planted and ready to roll. So off camera, I just threw pancake in for a little soak because I'm about to do a side mini project that I might film. And the first thing that he did, rather than drink the water, was try to escape, which is actually very good because that's normal 
terrapin behavior. When you put them in a small space, the first thing they want to do is get out, not just sit there and drink the water. But now, after a little bit sitting in there, he's he's drinking the water like a good little turt. So it's just, it's good. He's looking a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot better. I'm going to give him a second round of antibiotics today. I'm going to put diluted betadine on his feet. We're going to maybe take him for a test swim or actually I need to get him eating first. Maybe I'll see if he eats today and then he can probably go back in the pond in about three or four more days. I already fed some of the baby turtles that I wanted to feed today off camera because I don't know, I'm lazy. We'll feed everyone tomorrow, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I had a blast going into the pond again. I always love swimming swimming in there. I had to pull out some of the toe biting turtles, the classic toe biters. But anyway, thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.